Welcome Drag Race UK finalist, Bag of Chips. Hello, Hello. I'm I... being my darling. Oh, I came oh. dressed for you, look. You got the memo, you look I got fabulous. the memo, take Gorgeous. a seat. Oh, how are you? Oh, I'm fab. I'm doing me one woman show all around the country, 32 dates. I'm going to be knackered. Do you want... <laughs> but you've done... have you just come back from Edinburgh? Yeah, I just did um, six sold out shows at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. And it was, was it a, a ma material girl? It was a material girl. How did it go? Oh, it was incredible. It was sold out, um, rave reviews. And I've always wanted to do the Edinburgh Fringe. And just to do it, I was like, oh my God, I'm here. And um, yeah, it was the warm up for the tour. So um, I love that. And when you say rave reviews, like, do the reviews matter? Do you read them? Do you seek them out? Or do you, how do you manage that side of things? Oh, well, I don't normally like looking at the reviews because, um, yeah, sometimes they're not too pleasant. But these were all brilliant. They were, they were incredible. And um, there's a board um, at the Edinburgh Fringe and they write your name on the board if you've sold out. And I was on the board. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> that is a huge moment, isn't it? Could you have imagined um, these moments? You know, a few years ago, could you have imagined this? Oh, I can't believe it. Since Drag Race, I've just... I've done everything, like Celebrity MasterChef and The Circle and sold out tours, traveling the world. I'm going to America in October to do um, US dates. So it's just, I can't believe it. I'm and just happy for the work. <laughs> it is so wonderful. And it's just, a, it's a tribute to your determination and how hard you've been at it, really. You know, you, you, this isn't an overnight success, is it? Oh, no, for I've, you. Been, I've been doing this for 15 years, yeah. working in all the cabaret bars yeah. around the country. Um, like the greats, Lily Savage and stuff, you, you have to cut your teeth in yeah. the bars and then you get better and... And, yeah. um, you know, there are very few guests uh, who can talk both about Corrie and Hollywood in the same conversation. <laughs> You're one of those rare people. For a start, Coronation Street nearly got in the way of your big moment on Drag Race UK, is that right? Like, yeah. You, tell us why. Because... You're a massive Corrie fan. Oh, I'm the biggest Corrie fan in the world. I absolutely love it. I, I even watched the old Corries before I was even born. I love it. Um, Basically, I got the phone call to go on Drag Race, but I missed the call because I was watching Corey. <laughs> so I was like, oh, my God, what's this number? And thank God, he said, don't worry, bagger, you're still on it. I was like, I'm so sorry, I was watching Corey. And it was a good episode that night as well. I was like, oh, du a double. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And you do love a Deirdre. You did, is Deirdre your icon? Yeah. She's my absolute idol. I absolutely loved the, um, the actress Anne Kirkbride. Yeah. And I also loved... Um, Ivy Tilsley, the, the divas. Yes, you know. exactly. A lot of queens love, like, their Madonnas and Kylie Minogue's. I love my Bet Lynch's and my Liz McDonald's. Why not? Why not? And um, and also, talking about the Hollywood bit, you, so you've done Corrie, yeah. Hollywood. You've been in a Hollywood film. Yes, I, we filmed it um, in, like, Shoreditch, and it was with... Tom Hanks' son. <laughs> it's just absolutely crazy. And um, I can't say much about it, but... Um, yeah, it, it's absolutely. It's with, I think it's with Universal, and it's a big baggers going to Hollywood. <laughs> absolutely love that. Um, and you know, your is it right that you do a Deirdre impression? Is this? I do. De All right, here we go. I've got to get in my character. Yeah, go on, here hang we on, go. Let's Oh, Tracy, love. Oh, Tracy, why did you give the baby to the croppers? I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Oh, my God, it's so good! I think, I think we've got... Let's take a look at the real thing. You sold your own baby to a man you, you tricked so into good. believing he was the father. Oh, my God, that is so good! It's amazing! Oh, I absolutely loved Deidre. I think she's the greatest curry character ever. Tell us what Material Girl is all about when we go and see you on tour. Well, it's basically about my life. It's about bag of chips from... Uh, local scrubber to an international icon. <laughs> so uh, there's live comedy, there's dancers, there's live singing. Do uh, you dance? Oh, no, I don't do the dancing. I don't do the dancing. I Why do... is that? Have you seen me? Imagine me on Strictly. I wouldn't be like, oh, God, no. No, <laughs> listen, never turn down Strictly. <laughs> I don't think there's ever been a drag queen on no. Strictly. Come on. Yeah, my, ma my mate Vivian did um, Dancing on Ice. <gasps> my mate the Vivian. Yes. But, uh, yeah, I'd be the joke, though. Do you know the one, like, the Aunt Widdicombe on the floor? I'd be like that. 
But, um, yeah, Material Girl, it's just... It's about my life. It's about me and my kids. I've got my daughter, Donna Ann Chips, and I've got me, me, uh, the <laughs> twins, Salt and Pepper. And, uh, yeah, and um, I've got a famous daughter from Little Mix who don't talk to me anymore called Perry. Her name was Perry Chips. But now it's... Um, but Making now me it's... hungry. <laughs> well, her name was Perry Perry Chips, but she got rid of one of the Perrys. So. Right. <laughs> Trademark reasons. <Yeah. laughs> so, yeah, you don't want to pay those fines. Um, now, listen, I must ask you, because you mentioned, mentioned Celebrity MasterChef, um, your colleague, Cheryl, has had... I think this is so odd. OK, yeah. there's been some weird trolling of her being on MasterChef, but she's not the first, so I don't understand. Yeah. What's going, what do you think is happening there? Uh, I, I think people... I don't... It's like drag queens have just landed on Earth. You know, we've been around for years. Well, I've, yes. I mean, I was on MasterChef, I think it was, like, four years ago, three yes. years ago. Um, you, you had Kitty Scott Claus, who did absolutely brilliant. She, I think she made it near the final. Yes. And I think it's just the climate we're in. I think, you know what I mean, you have a lot of right-wing press and stuff, just, oh, drag queens are dangerous. Um, there's a lot worse things happening in the world than a man in a dress cooking egg and chips. You know yes, what I mean? exactly. So, yeah, yeah. So, um, and Cheryl is one of the most loveliest, kindest people. I'm actually going to Berlin with her Friday to do a show. Oh, and, amazing. And um, we phone each other most days, and I'm just like, Cheryl, take the notice. You're and fabulous. has it affected her? Well, she says it don't, but I know, you know what I mean, I think it does. I, I always say that. Oh, it don't bother me, I'm bag of chips, say what you want, but... It does sometimes, you know what I mean? It, when you're at home in your onesie and, yeah, you know, you've got no makeup on. Yeah, you're reading negative comments and stuff. Because we're, all, we're only human and... Well, she, you're a real person. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. She, she just wants to entertain. That's all Cheryl wants to do, entertain people, make people happy. And, um, yeah, I, I absolutely love Cheryl and I'll defend her to the death. <laughs> well, you're a good friend. You're a brilliant friend. So, Bag of Chips Material Girl tour starts... Oh, it starts at the beginning of September. I've got the exact date, okay. but it's September, <laughs> October, November. And, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be incredible. 32 dates. And um, I think it starts the 9th. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic stuff. It's absolutely wonderful to thank meet you in you. the I've flesh. I've got you a fan as well, a little bag of chips fan. Oh, have you? Yeah, that's oh, thank you so much. I think the weather's meant to be really nice as well. I might I need I normally sell them for 20 quid. Oh, do you? <laughs> what, I wonder what it goes for on eBay. No, I'll keep it. I'm only joking. I'll keep it. Thank you so much, thank you my so love. Much. What, a, what a dream you are.